tired. Really tired. But I'm going to do it anyway. JV Nation. What's going on, everybody? My name is Jeremiah Vegan. I am your host that does the most. And today, we're going to talk about something that I get a lot. We're going to talk about logos. What is the difference? Logo, brand, and identity explain. A lot of people think that logo and web design is the same thing as a brand, and it's not. As I talked about in my other videos, and you can look in the description below and, and take a look at my playlist, a brand is an experience that you get from a company or a person, pretty much. And we're going to talk about the difference because a lot of people think that it's like a logo and web design is part of it. It is a part of your brand and is a very essential part and it can definitely help it, but it's not your brand, if that makes sense. Um, I had a person tell me that the first thing that he would do when he when he is when he is starting his when he's starting his personal brand is he would um, do a logo and that's like that that's that could be any more further away from the truth and i'm going to be referencing an article hendrick studios Shout out to hendrick studios we're going to cover this blog okay what's the difference logo brand and identity explain and it says here in the excerpt a logo is not your brand but it is a part of brand identity which you can create after building a brand is your head spinning yet there has been a common misconception about branding. One may think all you need is a logo in a color, most of a color palette. Most of the misinformation comes from, and then you can elaborate. So let's elaborate. Let's elaborate. Here we go. A logo is not your brand, but it's a part of brand identity, which you can create after building a brand. What is a brand? The emotional connection of the corporate image. The emotional connection to the corporate image. What is a logo? A simplified way to visually identify a business using a mark or icon. Let's get it! Let's get it! Let's get it! What is identity? The visual aspects that of the brand the visual aspects that of the brand aspects that of the brand okay there was a typo the visual aspects of a brand what is a brand a brand is a person person's gut feeling about a product service or company by Marley by Marty Newmire that's similar to what I just said is it not by the way guys I haven't read this blog okay I haven't read this blog yet but I've been meaning to cover it. And one of the ways that I am able to um, teach so much about different things is because I read like three to four articles a week, maybe even more. Um, and I also just live on YouTube University. <laughs> I just watch videos day after day in and day out. And that's what you have to do to actually be, be in a position that you want to be in is to actually just put in the work and educate yourself and um, when i say educate yourself i'm not necessarily just talking about college because college doesn't necessarily educate you like how you edu how you can educate yourself if that makes sense all right so i got off topic that's basically what i was saying before a brand is an experience that people get that's all it is is the, is the experience that people get Think of the brand as the brains behind the operation. Building a brand has less to do with visuals and more to do with thinking. Who are you? Who are your customers? Come on. How will they find out? Will, why would they engage? The very important step of brand strategy is often skipped. With a proper brand in place, the other elements will form together easily. A brand can help a business stand out in a crowd marketplace regardless of company size let me tell you something about myself last year I was able to build an influencer from 250 subscribers to 4,000 subscribers and I'm not saying this to brag I'm just saying this to give you an idea now 4,000 subscribers not a whole lot but it's enough to get the person going because I deal with a lot of people that are in the beginning stages okay 
So it's enough to get people going and to get them excited and to get them to scale the business to where it's higher, right? And I did that. I helped do that kind of like by just learning about like what I was just telling you about just free and stuff and just educating and just kind of hit it right on the nail once I did it. And now I'm able to teach it to people. And um, one thing, I think the way that you stick out from people is that you watch your competitors, okay? Like you look at your competitors, you learn from your competitors and whatever they're doing, you don't do. All right, so I mean, and obviously you want to do teach what's right, but you want to be transparent, which a lot of them do that, but a lot of them are the same. So whenever you're looking to build a brand, you can, even if it's the same product or service, you can do it, but you can do it in a different way. You can do it something, you can, you can cover something that they, that no brand has ever covered. Um, you can do things a different way. Okay. For example, one way that I do it and how I'm developing my brand. And even though I'm fairly new to the, to the blogging world and I'm just now getting out there in the public, I already know certain things that other people are doing that I'm not going to do. And one is I'm not going to be too professional. Like I'm going to be silly. I'm a silly person off cam. So I want to be a similar, uh, silly person on cam. I want my, want my personality to show. I want you to be able to see who I am. It, it just like how you will see me on camera is how I'll be in person for the most part. I try to be, uh, respectful as I possibly can to people though. So keep that in mind. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but I'm, I don't want to be like the, the suit and tie person that just talks about, hi, do you want to make $500 a day? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? Hi, I came from living in a basement and now I'm helping you. I don't want to be that way. I want to be silly. I want to be the person that's into like hip hop and music and, and, and just really uh, conscious of certain things. I try to be 100% self-aware. And I like to review articles of other people. I like to give shout outs and do stuff out of the love. So um, that's one way that I look at it. And that's one th way that you sh you can look at it. You can cover something from, from a different perspective. Okay. Um, yeah. So we're going to continue to elaborate. A few components of a brand. User profiles, brand voice, attributes, messaging. What is a logo? She elaborates and she's referencing entrepreneur.com. A recognizable graphic element, often including a name, a symbol, or trademark representing an organization or a product. Local design tips. This is huge. I don't know what she's going to say, but I know it's going to be fire. So let me input my tips and let me see if I'm right. Local design tips. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Keep it clean. If your logo is called Cupcake Factory, then just, then just give yourself a cupcake and call it Cupcake Factory. If you don't want an image of a cupcake, just call it Cupcake Factory. Sometimes simple is the key. Oh, 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 O'Reilly! Auto Parts. What's O'Reilly's uh, uh, logo? O'Reilly Auto Parts. AutoZone. They've got their color scheme. Get in the zone. AutoZone. Walmart. Walmart has like this little flower thing, um, but you can also, Facebook, Facebook has like the F, right? And the blue thing. Um, and they also have like Facebook, they a logo that says Facebook and blue. You keep it simple, Twitter, Twitter and a T or a bird. You keep it very simple, okay? Keep it simple. Use appropriate typeface. Create for the target audience. Build a brand first. That's what I did. What is the identity? Brand identity is how a business presents itself to and wants to be perceived by its consumers. Referencing Investopedia.com. The identity of a company is made up of many visual elements. Logo, stationery, marketing, collateral, packaging, signage, apparel, video. Summary. The brand holds the company information. The logo is marked, mark, is a mark representing the company. 
and the identity is the system to help promote the company. All very different jobs, but they need each other to thrive. It's like, it's like, it's like your 10 fingers, okay? If you miss one toe, you might be walking a little crazy, okay? That is used for uh, for certain things. You know, you use your fingers, your ten your ten fingers to grab stuff, okay? They work hand in hand. If my heart stop, I'm done. If my brain stop, I'm done. You see what I'm saying? You need other components in your body in order for it to survive. For the most part, I don't know everything about the body, so don't come you know roasting me in the comments but i hope you guys are getting what i'm saying be original at the end of the day you can cover the same thing that other people are covering but cover from you and go into depth in something that in an area that many people don't go go into depth with that can make you stand out i'm standing out as it is so um damn i feel i sound like i'm trying to be cocky i'm not trying to be cocky you guys should know this, man. I'm not trying to be cocky because I'm not really all that. But um, that's really it. That wraps everything up. Um, make sure that you guys go in the description and you click on uh, my playlist and watch my videos from there. That covers everything that it relates to personal brands. As time progresses, I'm going to be adding videos to different series. So you guys can watch everything in one place instead of going over to different videos and recommended videos and getting distracted. So make sure you guys look at my description. I always give effort and give thought to my description box. Um, if you guys need anything, let me know. I'm small enough right now to where I can kind of respond to everybody accordingly. So you want to make sure that you leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Let me know that you love me because I love you. Wow, one love, okay? Talk to you guys in the next video. We release videos every day at 11 a.m. Peace.